But in this short overview, I want to just introduce briefly about other nematodes. So Isolberg mentions that only 10% of the nematodes are plant parasites. So there are many other different kinds. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. So as the title said, nematodes are everywhere. So of course you can find nematodes from agricultural land like this picture, but you can also find nematodes from somewhere very extreme conditions, like somewhere very hot and dry like desert or hot and wet like hot spring or somewhere very, very cold uh, like uh, Arctic, uh, Arctic and Antarctic. <laughs> And also you can find the nematodes from almost anything. So not just from plants, but also you can find the nematodes parasiting on, in insects or animals or fish as Danny mentioned. So you can find the nematodes from anywhere on the earth. So let's focus on the nematodes uh, underneath the ground. So as that um, Danny mentioned, so uh, you can find plant parasitic nematodes in soil, but if you take a handful of soil, you can actually find not only plant parasitic nematodes, but other kinds of nematodes also. So this soil can contain up to 50,000 nematodes. So that's a huge number. And some nematodes feed on fungi or bacteria or even both. And some nematodes even feed on other nematodes. So they are predator. And these nematodes can be eaten by anthropods and anthropods are food, food source of a larger animal like a bird. So this is very simplified version, but you can see that Nematodes play a very important role in the soil ecosystem through carbon and nitrogen cycles. So as uh, Danny mentioned in the beginning of his talk, nematodes are also an important bioindicator to know more about soil health conditions. What fascinates me a lot about free living nematode is this various mouse parts. So some nematode has this buccal cavity. So it, this is a bacterial feeder and some nematode have this uh, strong teeth like here and they use this uh, teeth to chew other nematodes or some nematode have this needle structure uh, which looks kind of similar to plant parasitic nematode stylet, but they tend to be weaker like this one or no knobs. And some nematodes have a funny looking deep region as well. But probably the most famous and most important nematode in the world is Cyanorhabditis elegans. So this is the first animal to have its whole genome sequenced and the only organism so far to have its connectome completed. So the connectome is the, uh, the network of the neuron in our in the brain of animals. So this is the only organism that we know of the neural connection in the brain. So we can use, we can utilize the knowledge to know more about us. So Cyanorhabditis elegans is clearly very important in our life. And there are some good nematodes as well. So entomopathogenic nematodes is our insect parasite uh, nematodes. So as you can see, these nematodes are coming out of dead lava. And with the infection of entomopathogenic nematodes, the insects actually die. So there is a huge potential of uh, entomopathogenic nematodes to be used as a um, biological control. Okay, so this is all for my presentation. Thank you so much.